Good morning. I'm offering a 2012 Keystone Vantage model number 29 RLS for sale. My truck pulling the trailer originally was a 2006 GMC Sierra half ton. I believe on my road trip to Oregon, I got about 13 miles to gallon with that. As long as I, you know, took it easy, I think 60 miles an hour was was a comfortable speed when we pulled that. Now you notice the low slungness of the trailer lowers that uh, air conditioner height and all that, center of gravity, uh, the aerodynamics on the trailer. It creates, of course, wheel wells inside the trailer, but uh, that was an acceptable compromise for me. But, um, sidewalls there, two inch solid foam, great insulator. I added additional ins insulation. You'll see foil pictures all on the, the front, the left side. Of the trailer just to help keep some of that sun out of there. The windows are still functional, I will add. This area here, of course, is the storage compartment. It comes with this weight distribution hitch, as you can see pictured here. You probably want fresh water hoses and sewer hoses, but I'm leaving them there just in case I take it out again. Um, but I'm sure you want fresh hoses. The Reese hitch, so the, I don't know what brand it is, but the hitch, weight distribution hitch, easy lift. Uh, functions just fine. The crank there is for the four corners of the trailer, the stability jacks. Of course, that is the back of the refrigerator and the water heater. The decals are all in pretty good shape. I think I found one side that had some minor hairline cracks. That's the edge of the slide. Aluminum wheels, which absorb vibration or lighter weight. Tread depth's good. Sidewalls are good. I wouldn't be afraid to to hook up and tow it across country again with this. I think it's in great shape. Again, those windows are fully functional the way I applied that um, reflectance on there. Deadens the sound, reflects the sun, and just improves the overall comfort inside the trailer for me. Of course, it's removable if you don't like it on there. Nice big grab handles by the doors. That extra portal window there doesn't open. But all the other windows are set at the same height. So it looks really clean and uniform from the outside. That rubber roof on top, I painted it with a ceramic coating. It's like $100 a gallon that I paid from Amazon. $400 to paint that roof. But it really made a difference. Reflecting heat and, and uh, just tightening up that roof. Of course, the sides are all cleaned up. You know, it's got some oxidation to it. That front vent you saw in one of the original pictures of the front cover there opens up. Here's the slide it's going to be coming out. Now it's not a very big slide, it's a shallow slide. If I had my way I wouldn't have any slide at all. In fact most times when I used the trailer I did not extend the slide. I just kept it in. But if you extend it, it doesn't throw the trailer off balance. It doesn't add a lot of extra weight to the trailer. It's pulled by cables in and out. So the motor is actually located inside the trailer. Now inside the trailer here, you can see that awning window open. That uh, sofa does open up into a bed, the air mattress bed. Never tried it. Some say the air mattress is more comfortable than the queen bed in the bedroom, but I've never tried it. You can see how narrow, nice that walkway is. It's narrow. You can't really pass two people, but it, it does work um, if you want to keep that slide in and still function with the trailer. The dinette, of course, is your other bed. Give me a total sleeping six. People uh, added that. I, I had to take the curtain out, but added that uh, shelf there for coats and hats and things like that. They cover up the window, so no need for a blind. Nice deep counters. Look how deep the counters are. You have three burner propane range there with the oven underneath. Uh, the cabinets are all nice and deep, just like you see on the counter there. You got the two cabinets to the side. You got the uh, ones underneath the sink, the counter sink. Microwave with the rotisserie. Of course, your um, tanks and battery and all that, air conditioner, heater control. That's how deep, look how deep that cabinet is. There's two sections to that cabinet. That's the upper and that one, what is that? Divider was that was at the bottom. Same thing. There's no sense to even open those up because you can't, can't get a good shot anyhow. Look how big that drawer is. Gives you an idea that on a storage capacity. The refrigerator is a decent size. Don't know the numbers off the top of my head. And the freezer freezes ice right down. Refrigerator kept everything nice and chill. 
queen size bed, good mattress, got uh, hanging closets on both sides, underneath the bed, you got ample storage in the bathroom, get your vanity, nice little shelf there. I wouldn't have a trailer without one of these high speed fans. Moves there, porcelain commode with a foot flush, and of course your shower, your siding that goes all the way up, sunlight, um, natural light coming in. Here's all your, your stickers. If you need any more information or you can't pause that, scroll in. Just let me know. I'll get you whatever information you need. Of course, got the sticker from the compliance agency. There's a brochure of the original that, uh, when I had got it. The coldest it was, it was like 11 degrees. The rest of the adventures are yours.